Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to explore the multi-announcement bars feature from Sparks. So Sparks can be installed on any WordPress theme, but for this demonstration I'll be using Neve. I'll also leave a link to this page in the description. Okay, so let's begin from the WordPress dashboard. I'll hover over settings on the left hand side and I'll click on Sparks. So once we get to this dashboard, we need to make sure that the multi-announcement bars feature is active. Since it's already active, I'll go to marketing, then coupons. Okay, now let's click on add coupon. So here we need to type in a coupon code. Let's use free mug as an example. You can also add a description if you need to, but I'll leave this blank. For discount type, let's use percentage discount and make the coupon amount 100%. Okay, and if you want to, you can also allow free shipping and set a coupon expiration date. Let's keep these for our example and move to usage restriction. So here we can configure a number of different restrictions, but we just need to focus on product restrictions for now. So let's use this field to search for our coupon product. And this will be a ceramic mug. So I'll just type in mug. Here it is. And you can add multiple products if you need to, but for our example, we'll just use one. And I'll click on publish since we don't need any more restrictions. Okay, so now we can go to marketing, then announcement bars. From here, we can click on add new. And now we're basically going to design and configure our announcement bars. Let's start by adding a title. We can just call this something like free mug announcement. So once we have added the title, we can now click on this plus icon. Let's click cart notice. Okay, so let's focus on the options on the right hand side. Let's start with display location. Let's show this notice on the cart and also on checkout. So we'll just use these two locations for now. Let's move down to display settings. We can choose to display this notice for all users or just for registered users. Let's keep it as all users. You can also set a start and end date, but I'll skip this for our example. Now for display conditions, we can access this drop down menu to select a condition. Let's use product in cart for our example. Now we need to actually select the product that will trigger our store notice. So let's select the roll up banner. Okay. Now we don't want to exclude any items, although you can, if you need to, let's also skip the other conditions and we can move to the styling tab. And from here, I'll select this dark color. It's one of our theme colors. So now we can go ahead and type our notice. So I'll move back to the left hand side on the block and I'll click on it. Now let's start typing the notice. So let's say get a free mug whenever you purchase a roll up banner. Now, instead of actually typing the name of the product, we can use a magic tag and that magic tag will automatically insert the name of the product in your cart. Okay. So here we have our magic tag at the end. Now we can move on to customizing the call to action button. So let's click on this button and now we can add our own call to action. So I'm going to type in get offer and that should be fine. You can customize your button if you need to, but I'll leave it as is. Now under advanced link settings, I'm going to turn on automatically add to cart, turn on automatically apply discount. Now add your discount code for me. It will be free mug, no spaces. So I'll just delete the space. Okay. Now we need to add a button link and this will be a link to the coupon product for me. That's the ceramic mug. So I'll set this and click on publish. Okay, so now that we have added our announcement bar, we need to go ahead and test it. So I'll go back to the dashboard and from there, I'll open my store in a new tab. So this is my store and I'm going to scroll down until I find the roll up banner. So here it is. I'm going to click on add to cart. Let's view the cart. So you see here we have our announcement bar. Now we need to go ahead and click on the get offer button and this should add the coupon product to the cart. So here we can see that the ceramic mug was added to the cart. If we scroll down, we can actually see it there as well. Now let's scroll all the way down to the order totals box. So now we can see that the coupon is subtracting $2 and 20 cents. So this confirms that our configurations have worked. Okay. So go ahead and check out this feature on your own. Once again, I'll leave a link to sparks in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one.